It is just one of the biggest games we've ever done. So many planets, so many places to go, so many characters. So much to do, there's so many different ways to do it. It's so funny. It's not the Lego Star Wars you knew. We said, right, let's give the fans everything Star Wars. We're going to give them the galaxy. In Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, we had an incredible opportunity to build planets. Planets that we'd been to in our imagination. Planets that we'd loved as fans of these stories across nine movies. One of the big things we wanted to focus on when we started this game was freedom. We wanted to blur the lines between levels and open world exploration as much as possible in this game so that it felt like one big cohesive galaxy. The game itself is obviously episodic. As players play through those, they will unlock these wonderful planets that they'll get to explore. You can go from Tatooine to Coruscant, you can go to Bespin, you can go to Asian Kloss, you can go to Acto. The planets are where this game really comes to life. The sheer scale of this is off the chart. Being able to traverse the entire galaxy, going from all the planets that you would recognise from the films. We've just really tried to delve into making each planet feel like alive and unique to what it was in the film. We started by going through every planet, discussing colours and texture details. Each planet and location has got so much original, authentic Star Wars detail. We got new systems that gave us a lot more finite control. How the planets look, how the levels look, how the ships look, it all looks so good. There's also a couple of little details that people might not really observe straight away. One of them is the Lego weathering effect. When you have the players or vehicles transition through the environment, they become sort of dirtier. For example, Tatooine Desert, all the characters like have sand on their feet. It was really satisfying when you actually can play the game, whichever character you choose. We wanted to make sure that all the little crevices and all of the places like snow and mud and sand, all these elements would start to increase. You really do feel a part of that world. It's just fantastic. I find it impossible to pick a favourite planet. I mean, there's so many great ones to choose from. Cloud City in Bespin is a great one because it's such a, an auditory experience. You've got all the ships flying past you and you've got all the people walking around. The first time I landed on Naboo, you come through a clearing of trees and you just see the lake and you have the sun and the clouds in front of you and the sun's reflecting off that. It's absolutely beautiful. My favourite planet is Endor. I was just the right age to get excited about Return of the Jedi. I love the Ewoks. Just go to all of them. <laughs> The world of Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga needed to be alive. So we built a galaxy with space missions, with side quests, with all kinds of secret challenges wherever you go. My favourite mission is on Tatooine and it's being able to feed the Sarlacc pit. Going around and collecting things to feed to it is just a joy. There's a mission in the game in Echo Base, and I just really love the one point in it. He's so nervous and he doesn't want to get like caught, and you're just trying to help him sneak out the base. There are some missions where the player will follow a string of missions. That mission giver might send you from Acto to Exegol, and you've got to travel across the galaxy and finish that mission. And that's something new we haven't actually done in previous games so much. Within our game, there's a lot of collectibles. And the Kyber Bricks are something the players are going to find throughout the planets. These are awarded in puzzles and sometimes can be awarded in missions. Along the way, you can get distracted by all sorts of like collectibles and missions to take on. And before you know it, you realise, I haven't continued the story in about half an hour. I've been too busy collecting Kyber Bricks. Completing missions and other events are how you unlock your favourite ships to fly around and your favourite characters. You'll see characters in this game that you have never seen in any of our Star Wars games. We created them just for this game. I really love that you can play as Mama the Hutt, which I think is just great because I want to be Jabba with lipstick on. Characters such as Yabble. Babu Frick is hilarious because he's so tiny. I am a huge fan of Star Wars, so I was so excited to be part of this. It was even more exciting to get to work on these planets I've loved seeing in the films and exploring them even more. The work that the team have put into is incredible. I couldn't be prouder to have been part of this game. We were able to capture so many worlds and bring them all together in really 
create them the way that we wanted to is something that I'll always be proud of.